Hi guys, in this tutorial I'll show you the essential plugins I use all the time, the ones I can't even imagine editing without. My plugin list isn't very long, because I'm not a big fan of relying too much on plugins. Of course I do have a few and if you've watched my reels, you've probably seen them in action, but I like to keep things as original and clean as possible. There are only three essential plugins that I use daily and in this video, I'll explain why they're so important in my workflow. The first essential plugin on my list is RSMB Pro. It's a must-have for me because, as many of you know, I'm a full-time speed ramp video editor and speed ramps just don't look as smooth or cinematic without proper motion blur. While After Effects does include some built-in motion blur options, they're not as effective or high quality. That's why RSMB Pro is absolutely essential if you you want professional looking speed ramps. The second essential plugin on my list is, of course Mocha AE. Without it I'd probably spend hours trying to get clean and smooth masking and tracking. As many of you already know, After Effects built in mask tracking isn't the most reliable and I really hope that gets improved in the future. Mocha AE saves me a lot of time and gives me precise control, which is why it's a must have in my workflow. The third plugin on my list might seem less essential at first, but for me, it's actually one of the most important and that's the Deep Glow plugin. I honestly can't imagine my edit without it. I use it everywhere, on text, animations and even during color grading to give my videos a soft and dreamy look. So yes, while it's not a must-have for everyone, Deep Glow is absolutely essential in my workflow. I don't consider other plugins essential for me simply because I don't use them on a daily basis. I might use some occasionally, maybe once a week, like when I want to add a 3D text effect, I'll use Element 3D, but again, that's not essential in my workflow. Of course, for someone else, that same plugin might be a core part of their editing process, it all depends on your style and what you're creating. You asked for my list of essential plugins, so I made this video and I hope it helps you understand what you might actually need in your own workflow. Plugins can be expensive, so don't spend crazy money on them without thinking it through. If you truly need a plugin and know you'll use it often, then it's definitely worth buying. But if it's something you'll only use once a month, I wouldn't recommend spending your money on it. Hope you found this video helpful, thanks for watching and if you enjoyed it, please give it a like.